in the garage. Just um, working on taking this old oven to pieces. There you go. Jolly old oven. Look, it's all dark inside. But it has an important aspect of insulation material which I've taken out the first side here which has all disappeared from there and we move over to here and here is the little microwave oven which is in the middle of being completely taken to pieces and using the insulation which I got from the old oven and packing it around the oven box of the microwave oven. There we go. There's all the electrics, all the gubbins. Let's take it out. It won't need it because it's going to be solar powered. And here's the glass of the oven door. Here's the other section of the oven door, which as you can see has a grill on it and that grill has to come off because it's going to block the light so that's the next action just take the grill off rebuild the oven door and that put it back on the oven and then finish insulating the oven cavity over here and over here see where it got really hot when it was being a microwave because it had a grill in it as well so that's all going to be covered in insulating material right catch you in a minute right this is the removal of the silicon which is holding in place the inner glass and this will allow us access to the grill which we need to remove and then we can put this inner glass back in to give us a double insulation and we'll do it so we can do some tests perhaps a single front glass will be sufficient so there we go I'll keep you posted on how this goes there we are it's nearly free Now we have the grill removed from the oven door. See all that light coming through there? That's exactly what we want. Right, now to remount the door. Progressing right along, here's the insulation recuperated from the other oven. And the door rehung minus the internal glass and minus the grill that way we get maximum light transmission and a real door which really shuts so put the top on and get some sunlight in it and this is the inside pre-sanded and prepared or spray painting because it's going to be a black absorbing surface thanks to the discovery of Leslie and his cube and we're going to spray it with this evidently it's in French but you should be able to see that haute temperature oh yes and it says here resists to 800 degrees can you imagine that? is that really true? we'll see there it is first coat of our black box yes lovely all black.
next action is to find a piece of something in order to be able to rotate the parabolic reflector towards the sun. So having discovered this rack from a shop somewhere and constructed a piece on it here. There we are. The beautifully easy to rotate table. Look at that, isn't that just marvellous? The next section is to put this vertical support for the parabolic reflector on the opposite side to the oven which will go right here so here's the next bit we'll see how to attach the parabol to this vertical this time it's quarter to four the oven's been out for five minutes and we're at 70 degrees already 71 and rising so this is a view of the entire contraption currently manually operated to face the sun which is not very difficult be five minutes or so we just adjust it so that the reflection of the sunlight goes through the window five to four we've been running 15 minutes we're at 80 degrees Four o'clock, been running 25 minutes, and we're at 90 degrees. Four fifteen, a hundred degrees. There we go, that's my coffee. I well deserve it. Next step, baked potatoes.